Hello, my name is Simon Carpenter and I'm a BBSRC funded scientist working at the Perbright Laboratory in Surrey. At Perbright we work on viruses of livestock and among these are viruses which are transmitted by arthropods such as biting midges, mosquitoes and ticks. One of these viruses, blue tongue virus, was recently found in the southeast of the UK in 2007. While this outbreak was eventually eradicated through vaccination, blue tongue remains a global problem to livestock producers worldwide. As part of a new project, the India Blue Tongue Vector Network, or IBVNet, we are addressing the problems that are common to UK and Indian dealing with outbreaks of blue tongue. To accomplish this, we rely upon a wide range of collaborators in both the UK and India, and in particular the India Council for Agricultural Research and the All India National Network Programme for Blue Tongue Virus. These links not only strengthen the science we carry out, but also enable direct translation of our studies in the field. Biting midges are among the smallest flies that feed on livestock and the eggs you can see here are just a couple of millimetres long. The larvae that emerge from the eggs are extremely vulnerable to drying out and hence favour damp habitats such as soil or animal dung. Seasonal availability and abundance of such sites therefore often drives the adult abundance of a particular species. Pupation usually occurs over just a day or two and mating occurs when adults emerge. Only female biting midges blood feed and hence are responsible for blue tongue virus transmission. Blue tongue virus causes a hemorrhagic disease in infected sheep, both in the EU and India. Common clinical signs include fever, swelling of head and neck, lameness, respiratory problems and mortality rates that can exceed 30% of cases. While considered an exotic virus in the UK, blue tongue virus circulates almost continuously in India with periodic explosions of disease cases. These are particularly serious on subsistence farms in the southern states of Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. In these three southern states, sheep such as these Madras Red represent a vital resource for smallholders and landless workers and are usually grazed on common land. Owners often make daily movements with their flocks of up to 7 kilometres a day to water sources, returning to their villages to house them at dusk. Additionally, in some areas of southern India, seasonal migrations occur that follow monsoon related changes in the availability of grazing and can entail journeys of up to 200 miles. As India supports a wide range of diverse habitats and livestock breeds, this makes tracking and predicting the movements of strains of blue tongue virus extremely challenging. One aspect of IBVNet is to gain a clearer understanding of the factors that drive blue tongue outbreaks across these habitats. To do this, we are establishing culicoides trapping networks across southern India to identify species transmitting blue tongue virus and to monitor their seasonal abundance. Here, some of the project partners are learning how to set up a standard ultraviolet light trap that is used to collect culicoides in the field. Like moths and other insects active at dusk, culicoides are attracted to the light and are blown by a fan into the collecting pot, shown being attached to the bottom of the trap. By hanging these traps in close proximity to livestock, we can gain an understanding of the abundance of culicoides populations and also which species are feeding on livestock most often and hence most likely to transmit blue tongue virus. Through collaboration with the Indian Council for Agricultural Research, IBVNet will enable a network of traps to be run at weekly intervals across southern India. The data produced from this network will then be used to compare culicoides' abundance with monsoon conditions, which may influence the availability of larval breeding sites. Identifying these drivers of culicoides' populations could eventually lead to tools that could be used to predict the occurrence of major blue tongue virus outbreaks. This would mean that the farmers would be warned in advance of outbreaks of blue tongue virus to employ vaccination. This project complements a wider effort being conducted by the Indian Council for Agricultural Research to vaccinate for blue tongue in India. In addition, we are also examining ways in which outbreaks of blue tongue virus can be controlled by subsistence farmers. This includes characterising how farmers currently combat outbreaks using traditional techniques, as well as producing cost-neutral methods to reduce culicoid abundance. This will not only assist in reducing the impact of blue tongue, but may also lead to a reduction in untargeted control techniques in the form of insecticides. The CIDLIP programme is funded by BBSRC, GIFID and Scottish Government. Highlights of our progress will be presented by members of IBVNet throughout the project. You can also learn more about the project from our website, ibvnet.com and culicoides.net.